Wow, Dokkan, Dokkan, Dokkan. What is this? This is absurd. This is ridiculous. This needs to change. We got to talk about this little piece of news that dropped on JP last night and what this means for global. Unfortunately for JP, they are going to have to deal with this right now. Global players, consider yourselves lucky. I'm one of the one of the few times where I am very happy the two versions aren't at the same schedule because if you guys want to have even a chance at being able to get this LR easy when it releases on global, the moment it does, you got to follow my advice right now and start saving up your battlefield memory because this is absurd the amount that is needed to finance lr eza ginyu force is absolutely ridiculous so this video is going to be all about talking about the jp news but framing it in the perspective of the global players and i would love to hear from the jp players and how you guys are reacting to this because to me this is annoying this is something that i've had to deal with since my very first month of playing dokkan because that was when ultimate clash first began and i have always been a little bit behind not being able to complete all of the events because I was new to the game. And that deficit has only ever stayed the same and never ever reduced. And that is something that I feel like Dokkan needs to change at some point. So I'd love to know from you JP players who are just now getting this information, how are you guys handling the insane price of 675,000 Battlefield memories? So now let's talk about this for global players. What does this mean for global players? First of all, the LR Ginyu Force EZA is the first of its kind. We are going to start to see some LR EZAs in the future. This EZA is very good given what it used to be. All types key plus three, 120% stats. Raise attack and defense one turn causes colossal to the enemy. Raise attack and defense one turn causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. And all allies attack and defense plus 30% for one turn. Key plus two attack and defense plus 77 plus an additional attack and defense plus 10 up to 50 depending on how many Ginyu Force allies you have on the team. All allies key plus three attack and defense plus 30. Very nice. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow, excluding physical, when there's another Ginyu Force category ally attacking in the same turn. Now look, objectively speaking, this unit is by by no means required because the Ginyu Force category is already stacked. Just simply without the without even the summonable units, just simply the free-to-play team, we have the five TURs, and then you would arguably want to have the LR Ginyu Goku as the lead. So before this, this LR Ginyu Force just didn't even have a place. And now, if you want to go full free-to-play, this would be the perfect substitute for a Ginyu Force lead because it is a 120%. So, you know, depending on how you view it, this could actually be important or not at all. So that is what we're looking at now in terms of the LR Ginyu Force EZA. How do you pull this off? Well, if you guys are new to this, I'm going to show you exactly how to get this LR EZA from scratch. For those of you who don't know, you can buy this unit from the Battlefield shop for 7,777 per copy. You should buy five because five is what's needed to get the rainbow. You will never see this Ginyu anywhere else, so you have to buy it from the Battlefield shop. They have expanded the amount that you can buy up to 10, but JP players, I'm sure you guys know this, do not spend more than five. When it comes to the Battlefield shop economy, the currency imbalance is so skewed that you should not waste a single Battlefield memory point because you will never get it back. You should only ever buy the bare minimum that you need to pull off the rainbow. And this is one of those moments where even though they're free to play, you should use Kai's and you should farm out their super attacks by any means necessary instead of spending more battlefield memory. I'm telling you. So assuming you're going to buy five of these, that would cost you around 40,000 battlefield memory. Then if you want to get this unit to the LR form, you're going to have to purchase 77 copies of this metal right here. On top of that, you are going to then have to buy 45 copies of this metal right here, each one costing an arm and a leg. What does this mean for you global players in terms of perspective? Let's go over some context. If you guys don't know, at this current juncture, we are on the 41st iteration of the Dokkan Ultimate Clash. At this current moment, you are able to pick up 218,000 Battlefield memory just by completing every single one of these stages. 1 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You complete all of these, you will be able to pull 200 and... Oh, no, no, look at that. I didn't reveal this properly. Okay. You will only be able to pick up 218,000 Battlefield memory. That is how much you can get on Global right now. So, that's that's good. And then, as I mentioned before, you got to buy five copies of the Ginyu. So, 7,777 times five. That will net you a grand total of 38,885 to rainbow the Ginyu. That's not all. As I mentioned, you have to buy 77 of these blue and yellow medals. 
You got to buy 77 times 3,000. So that will put you at 231,000 that you need to buy those 77 Clash Medals. So in total, you already need 269,000 Battlefield Memory just to get this guy to the LR form. That already transcends the amount that you gain from one Dokkan Ultimate Clash, which means you'd have to run two full Clashes before you can actually pull off an LR Ginyu EZA. That seems, that seems understandable because it's an LR, it's free to play, it should take you some time. Here's where it gets ridiculous. For the 45 medals that you need for this new EZA, you are going to have to spend 15,000 per, and you have to buy 45 of them, which means you have to spend 675,000 Battlefield Memory just for those LR EZA medals alone. So all in all, if you want to do this entire LR EZA grind from start to finish, you would have to spend nearly 1 million Battlefield Memory, 944,885 Battlefield Memory to Rainbow and LR EZA this beast. That is insane. Now, you could still argue that this is justified because this is a free-to-play LR. A free-to-play LR EZA should not be easy to come by, and I agree with you. However, the problem with this is twofold. One, they have never changed the amount of currency that we gain in the Ultimate Clash, except for just by simply adding new obstacles. If they add another opponent, they increase the amount that we get there. But overall, they haven't scaled the amount of Battlefield Memory that we get upwards at all. And I feel like that needs to change, because otherwise, if you have missed out on any iteration of the Ultimate Clash, you have literally no chance to catch up. Unless they proportionally give some sort of bump or inflation this sounds this sounds like real world talk but I'm, I'm serious like if they don't inflate the amount of value that you gain on the battlefield memory from these events you're never going to catch up and with these prices now constantly increasing for the new lrs that we get i mean look at this for crying out loud meta cooler army was 150,000, and look at where we're at now with the guinea or the lr shadow dragons it's 370,000, just for one copy how on earth are you able to put, are you supposed to keep on buying all of these things if you're only getting 218,000 memory per run? That's not it's just not enough. If you want to actually get LR Guinea Force EZA from scratch, you're going to have to run 4.3 full clash runs, which means five full clashes, which would on average probably be what, 5 months, 6 months. So basically the time from global to JP if you do every single clash, you might have a chance to pull enough Battlefield Memory to do this whole EZA. But then here's the problem, folks. If that time comes where you're actually able to do all of the work, get the medals needed to actually get this unit to the full LR EZA, is it going to be worth it by then? What if we get the Tech Ginyu Goku EZA? What if another Battlefield unit gets an LR EZA? Are you then going to save for that? Or are you going to still focus on the LR Ginyu Force EZA? This is the unfortunate situation that global players have to deal with, but it's kind of a double-edged sword. Global has the advantage of time, but at the same time, we're so far behind that by the time we get to that point, it could be better off just saving for the next big thing. So that's kind of the dilemma that we're in right now, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that because you can make a decision right now. Make a decision in your mind. Do you want to actually make the effort to get this unit fully awakened to the EZA level, or do you want to just completely forget about it and wait for the next one and just get ahead of that that way? I want to know what you guys think, because this has annoyed me since my first month of playing Dokkan, and it has brought back a lot of resentment just by seeing this number right here from the JP Dokkan scene. That's going to be it, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this whole imbalance in the Battlefield shop economy? Do you agree with my take that something needs to change? They need to a little bit maybe inflate the values that we get or maybe decrease the prices for some of these units? Or do you think it's all fine the way that it is? Do you feel like the LR EZA needs to be taking this long to actually awaken? Let me know what you guys think. I want to know your honest opinions about this in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.